Right, hey guys, this is my third tutorial, and as you can see here, this is the background we made in the last tutorial. So now I have an image of Emma Watson, and I'm going to cut out this image and stick it onto this background. So they're fairly simple, but it's also quite useful and something that you guys may really want to know. So the way I would do it is with this magnetic laser tool. So the way the magnetic laser tool works is essentially it will stick to areas. Probably the best way for me to explain it is to show you. So as you can see here, it is just kind of going on its own because I'm using it in a brown area. So if I double click it, it will round it up. But if I start clicking over here, it will run itself across Emma as so. And if you click, it will join do a dot. And the use of this dot is essentially so that it will know that it's kind of locked to place, if you know what I mean. So it will lock itself to place, or if you do the dot, it will just kind of do it man. At clicking is kind of like adding it manually, but sometimes the thing will get confused. So won't be able to add it all automatically. So I'm kind of just going roughly around her because it is very difficult to get a perfect cut with her hair. But you you'll see how it comes out in the end. So with some very complicated images, it can take an awfully long time to cut someone out. And as you can see here, I'm being quite rough around the top of her head. Because I, this is only a tutorial, obviously I would normally be much, much neater, much, much more precise. I'd probably zoom in a bit. Normally when I'm doing my design work, I am working on a 21, 22-inch Mac and not my laptop, which I'm doing these videos on. So, here I am, almost finished. So I'll just head down the back of her dress. And now along the bottom, just straight along. And then when you see this little circle, you can join it up, right? So there we go. So control C, copy, control V, paste. Right, there we go. Now if I just stick this over in the corner there you will see when I zoom in that it is a little blocky but it is not too bad of a cut in all honesty so now I can do some stuff with this so I'll just stick it in that corner now I can select it I think I can select all of them okay so if I head back to here I can right click and feather now the feather will essentially kind of fade fade the outside in a way. So if I feather that by ten and I copy it and then paste it back into my background. There yeah, there we go. You can already tell what the feather has done straight off. It's kind of faded in her hair so it doesn't look so choppy. It looks a lot lot nicer to be honest. So you can spot the difference right there, what it's done. So if I remove this other layer and keep this one. Now what I, else I can do with this is I can stick an overlay on it. So there we go, it go, it can sit in the background a bit like that. And then you can, which I like to do sometimes, is start stacking these up. So you might not want two overlays on top of each other. You might want a kind of multiply and then the overlay on top of that so you produce something a bit more like this or you could just go back to the kind of well that's blurred because it's out of picture or if we do another one set that to normal and remove these two that is the original image but you can get some pretty nice effects by adding some overlay stuff there we go that looks fairly nice um but you can just like use your imagination go a bit crazy with this sort of stuff and afterwards you can pretty much the one way you can select Emma 
almost fully is using the magic wand tool. Now I'm not going into very much detail of this magic wand tool here, but if I have layer five selectors and I sel click on the background, it will select the outside bit of the Emma. So then you can right click, select inverse, and it will select the inside. And I can do stuff like select my brush tool, do a new layer, and I can put a brush straight over Emma like that. And then I can like overlay this brush, and you can kind of s you can see the white lines running along here. Now I can move this brush anywhere, really. I can increase its size. So if I press enter, to, well, no, sorry, if I move over here and I press control T, I can transform it. So I can increase it. Well, oops, wrong layer I've got selected there. Hold that, control T, can increase its size, move it back, can also change it so it's instead of an overlay it might be a bit of a multiply or might be a screen, there we go screen does nothing really, but see you can you can make loads of cool effects and you can change how your image actually looks. So that's the end of my Emma Watson extraction and add into a background. If there's any particular videos you like, feel free to send a request to me and I will try and explain it in the best way I can. Thanks.